Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so um, I feel like this is overall energy. These two came out together um, while I was shuffling the deck. Okay, so it's telling me it's it's real cut and dry here, guys. Something's coming to an end and new beginnings. This is an ending and new beginnings. It almost feels like a rebirth, but I feel like that's your energy. Um, you're ending something here and leaving it behind. Okay, and you're about to receive um, a blessing maybe. This could be money rolling in. This could be an end to financial struggles. I'm just seeing this as a brand new beginning, an opportunity to start a whole new cycle. Okay, um, and there's somebody left behind here that's missed out on a major opportunity in love. Uh, they were handed a blessing. Okay, they could have even prayed for you at one point. Please, please send me somebody who isn't going to lie to me, betray me. There, who's somebody who's going to be, it's real love that this person wanted. All right, and I feel like they were always focused on empty cups, other situations. You were the blessing here, and they missed out. And now time is up. Time's up here. Um, it's the end to the cycle and a beginning to a new one. I feel like this is somebody who can't get back in. They're being shown um, by the divine here. Yeah, just what kind of a person you are. Um, I, I feel like you've had nothing but integrity. You've shown nothing but strength in this. You were the blessing here, totally. And this person completely blew it. They ignored this. They, they've ignored the signs. I'm seeing this too as the divine saying, dude, pick up this cup. Cups are not, it's not just about love. Spirituality is in these cups. Intuition, discernment, the lessons you, that you've learned. Um, everything that you feel at a soul level is in this cup. Okay, and I feel like the divine has been urging this person to take a drink from a spiritual cup. Wake up. Realize what's going on. You keep focusing on empty cups here, and we got a blessing being shoved in your face, and you're missing your opportunity. This just feels like a, a completely missed opportunity here. Um, yeah, and now this person is feeling it. They're getting their karma. This is what they get for being a poop about this. I got to say, because they're sitting here kicking rocks, um, having a little hissy fit, okay, because they missed out. Now they're crying at night. You know, they're, they're, everything that they've, they've done to you, this is what they're thinking about late at night. It's, they're in a sweaty t-shirt in the middle of the night, unable to sleep. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They keep thinking about this. They're being shown some things, too, by the divine. Yeah, you know what? You gave this person nothing but the best love they're ever going to find. Queen of Cups. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you could be a Leo. Your person could be a Pisces, a Libra maybe. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they're realizing all they had to do was come and apologize, make you with this love offer. Um, they're realizing this late at night. It's almost like they have a nightmare. I feel like they're being shown some things in a dream. I've picked this up before, guys, in collective readings, okay? Because um, they're having a nightmare here, and they completely wake up from it. But I feel like it may be a little bit too late, okay? It may be a little bit too late for this person. You're already going to calmer waters. You're headed towards your Ten of Pentacles. You're headed towards, you want something, someone who's going to commit to you and be there for you and have your back. Somebody who's going to take control of their own situation, you know. Um, yeah, and this person, I'm telling you, they're, they're, yeah, they're being shown a lot. I feel like in the middle of the night, this person is getting downloads like crazy. They're getting downloads. They're getting... Um, they're just being shown. It, it feels like a review of what they lost. They're being shown what they did, what they lost, and maybe how they're going to feel in the future. 
this is somebody being shown some things here. And it's waking them up it, with this hangman energy. This is like a light bulb going on. Oh my gosh. You know, they, they wake up from a, from a nightmare. Bing, right? Oh my gosh. I've, what did I do? I've lost a blessing here. What did I do? You know, I, I, I should have gone and, and, and made this love offer here, right? And then they're like, oh, no, I'm never going to get this back again. Yeah, it's a total nightmare. This person doesn't want to let go of you. And you're about to get somebody new. Yep, you're, gonna, you're about to get a new soulmate connection here. They're being shown that, too. So they're being shown that this is ending. They're being shown what they had, what they had an opportunity to have. Okay, a gift from the divine. All right. Um, they're being shown how strong you've been because now they can feel your pain and they realize what you've been through and how you had to heal on your own and how loving you were of a person to this to whoever this is. Um, you were nurturing, you were kind, giving. They could have had all the love from the strongest person they'll ever meet. Okay, but, but they lost this all. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. Everything, a wish-fulfilled life, building something solid. And they mistreated that blessing. They're being shown all of this at night, I feel. And they're feeling every bit of pain that they put you in. When they abandoned you and left you behind, turn their back on you. Because you know what? You're having to do this now. You're having to turn your back. On this person okay standing in your in your boundaries standing in your um, your truth basically you know the truth about what happened yeah this person's having a realization they're feeling the same pain they put you through and it's a tower moment because now they realize they realize oh my gosh I have feelings I I have feelings I I have love I'm in love with the collective oh crap what have i done that's what this is what have i done i'm in love man and i lost them that's what this person is saying i lost the one for me yeah i lost the one for me my wish I'm telling you, they prayed for you, Collective. They made a wish for somebody who would love them the right way, the one for them. And when, they, when you came into their life, they turned their nose up at you and ignored you and pushed you away. Now they're finally realizing that was my wish. This was the answer to my prayers. And I had this opportunity and I lost them. Yeah, because it's over. Oh my gosh, yeah, sudden realization that just about knocks this person over. Um, they're realizing they're in love with you. You are their match. We've got the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles out here with the star. You are the person that they wished for. You could be um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, yeah, you are their true soulmate connection, and I feel like you're about to get someone new. And um, and it's going to lead to a commitment. This person is losing you, or they've already lost you. And they're realizing this now. I'm like, oh no, I'm in love with the collective. And I let them get away. Oh no. Yeah, now they want to they want to take some kind of action here. They want to talk to you, but now after all this time, they're they're out in the cold. Oh man, you're not talking to them anymore. They're about to get their karma too. They're getting hit hard with karma. They're going to lose their finances. Maybe this is what another thing this person is realizing. This is why their life has been going down the tube since they abandoned you. You know, no opportunities, bad health, um, financial issues. They could have lost a home. They could have lost a job. They may not be able to pay their bills. They may not have enough food to eat. 
everything is coming look all the illusions are down they're being shown all of this at night in nightmares in dreams the divine is showing them everything with judgment and um, all the illusions coming down they're literally watching all of this and, and feeling every ounce of pain that they put you through yeah and suddenly realizing they're in love with you and you're moving on cancer energy you're moving on feeling determined having a victory you've been put through it by this person and probably a lot of others and you're leaving people behind you could be moving away this is a lot of fast forward movement so this person could be finding out that you're moving Yeah, you're in both emperor and emperor, emperor and empress energy here. I feel both feminine and masculine energy because this person didn't show up for you. So you had to take on that, that emperor energy on your own, um, which tells me that you are very strong, um, determined. You know what you want and you're not going to be talked out of it. You know what I mean? They could be finding this out with other pe through other people, asking some advice. Maybe I always see this as them chit-chatting with a group of people, okay? That's how I usually see this card. Um, but this is, yeah, this is collaborating with others, right? This is um, wanting to come in and work with you maybe together. They're, yeah, but they're out in the cold. They put themselves in this position, and now they're writhing in pain over it, basically, is what they're doing. Kicking rocks, realizing, realizing how, oh man, it was just foolish. Just when the door is closing on this person, they realize they're in love with you. Okay, that's kind of what this is. Just as the door is closing on them and you're moving forward, they realize very suddenly that they're in love with you. And it's literally like a kick in the gut for this person. Yeah, look, they, you know what? They waited way too long. They're praying that um, they'll someday get another chance with you. I feel like this person is praying that maybe someday you'll talk to them again. This could have been going on for seven months, uh, seven years, six or seven years or months. They... They may have chosen others and invested in things that um, aren't paying off for them at all. And they let the real one for them get away. Look, they walked away from you. Yep, look, and this is why I feel like nothing is going right in this person's life. And this is why. It's given me the color purple vibes, right? Everything you try is going to fail until you do right by me. Seely says that to Mr., right? Yeah, this is what they did. They ghosted you. They kept you st uh, stuck and trapped in a, in a mental mind prison, right? Um, thinking, what, what's going on? Why aren't they talking to me? Why did they leave me? I want an explanation. I gave them nothing but the best love ever, and they did this to me. Yeah, they just kept you here with no answers, no nothing. They walked away and never communicated with you. When they came in, they came in with lies, betrayal, just wanted something from you. And then they left thinking that they'll get away with this, okay? They knew exactly what they were doing. They're looking at that here as they meditate on this. They're being shown. And they never worked on things with you. They may be, like everybody else may have been a priority, but they kept you standing here like you were nothing. They really just tossed you to the wayside and just left. That's what they did. And they, this is somebody that they prayed for. The divine is, I feel like the divine's angry with this person, showing them all of this, making them feel like crud, okay? They're, they're standing here. I feel like they're thinking about everything that they did and how it took them way too long to come back in with any kind of apology. And now they're, they're realizing at the same time they're in love with you and they treated you like this. 
Oh man, this person is feeling sick over this, you guys. I gotta say, yeah, look, all of these burdens. Yeah, look at this. All these burdens that they carry. Yep. It's heavy. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we've got ashamed, guilty, because you were wish fulfillment. They prayed for you, collective. I'm telling you. They prayed for you. Look, it's and it's right here. They're praying for you again. I hope I can get another chance. I hope we can communicate someday. They prayed for you. And when the divine delivered you to this person, they treated you like you were garbage. That's what they did. They know how guilty they are. This person, I, I get the feeling like they feel sick about this. Disgrace, humiliated, unworthy of you, maybe a completely ashamed, sad, unhappy, joyless, dejected. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm feeling like kind of sick to my stomach over this. So I know they're feeling that way too. Um, and you're out here accomplishing everything. You were the treasure. You were the answer to their prayers. Okay. You were the answer to their prayers and they treated you like garbage. And they're realizing this. Oh my gosh. You're out here accomplishing things, moving on, victorious, very masterful in whatever it is that you do. And I'm betting it's something intuitive. You may even have your own platform. You could be in the public eye. This person, I feel like they, they keep track of you online, okay? And now they're feeling absolutely powerless. They were wishing you would talk to them and you're not talking to them. This is, um, I feel like it's, it's suffering bereavement, right? A huge loss. They know, they know this is ending. Yeah. And you could be moving away. And, they, and if they lose you for good, I feel like somebody here could be moving. Um, but yeah, they're, they're never going to find another you. There's not going to be anyone else who's going to fulfill them on an emotional level. They're going to have to live with this and the burdens of what they did to you and what everything that they lost for the rest of their life. They're going to feel this, this kind of unfulfillment. Um, no, no, dissatisfied, right? They're going to feel this forever. The only joy this person will have is watching you succeed, watching you, watching your life. They watch you all the time. Um, if you have a, a public platform, they're absolutely fascinated. You know what's going on outside right now during this video? If you can hear it, the garbage trucks. You're throwing this out. You're done. You're discarding this connection because of the poor treatment and the fact that you don't want to be in a mental prison anymore. You're moving on. This connection is being tossed out in the garbage. That's a, that is a confirmation. You're, you're leaving this to the wayside now as you push on through forward, okay? Yeah. Sorry about that noise. But yeah, this is, this is the garbage. It's garbage day. I feel like this is a connection that's, yeah, and you're freeing yourself from this. You're freeing yourself from that mental mind trap. You're done. You're done. This is an end to a cycle, a new beginning for you, and this person realizes you were the answer to their prayers. They're in love with you, all right? And they lost the best thing that they're ever going to have in their life. All right, so let's see what this person wants to say. Let's get some love messages here. Just know that, that they're watching you all the time. Whatever it is that you're putting out there on the Internet, they're watching it, okay? Um, I'm not the same person. I hope the future will bring us together. Yeah, they, I feel like they are a little bit hopeful. Um, I hurt myself by letting you go. What else does this person want to say? Sorry about the noise outside, you guys. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. 
I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. Please forgive me. I know I messed up. You are so beautiful inside and out. Yeah, they know. Well, you could be a light worker, okay? You're a blessing. You could be a light worker. I'm always here for you. I never expected to fall in love. I hope our paths will cross again in the future. Yeah, they're really hoping that someday they'll get another opportunity. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted I am to you. Please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that I've got two I never expected to fall in love cards, right? That's kind of where I feel like Yeah, they weren't expecting to fall in love with you. This is a this is a tower moment. Uh, it's it's hitting them like a kick in the gut. They're realizing, "Oh my gosh, I'm in love." And I just let them get away. Yeah, I, they're feeling sick over this. Okay, I got the chills all over me. Chills all 